Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. Uh, time for the daily video update. We've had a good day today and there's more stuff to look at, more uh, good trends coming on. I think it's pretty safe to say that we're at uh, the pre-summer movement now and this is kind of that big push in May where uh, a lot of money is pulling out and, and doing kind of those last things before we get into that summer channel. So uh, looking for the rest of this month just to be a big trending month uh, and I think it's going to be. So as we can see today it's been a pretty bad day for equities uh, although they have recovered quite a bit. Uh, oil's all the way down here at the 96.50 area. Uh, the Dow is about 140 or so points down today. It recovered to about close just uh, just just uh, around 100. Uh, s and pretty bad day as well. So everything got hit pretty good and then we saw a decent dollar rally uh, as a result of that. So We'll keep our eye on that. As far as news goes today, we have Australian employment numbers, and that could really get things kind of moving. We have some Aussie trades that are running and, and uh, some things going on there, so we got to keep our eye out. Uh, that, that could definitely push the Aussie dollar uh, just a little bit higher. So we've got that news coming out, remember, in about four hours, I guess, from now, five hours. Um, so let's keep our eye on that. We have trade balance coming out of China uh, before too long. Uh, and then for the UK session and the US session, we have tons of news. We haven't had hardly any news for, for the entire week, really. Uh, and then now we have um, manufacturing production coming out of the UK. We have uh, the interest rate announcement coming out of the UK. We have uh, uh, the rate statement. Uh, we have trade balance out of Canada, trade balance out of the US, and then Bernanke speaking. So uh, we go from nothing to everything on Thursday. So Big, big news uh, going on there. So let's keep our eye on our positions and just kind of see how things go from there. Dollar index is starting to soar. It's uh, back above that 80, which it hasn't been too strongly above for uh, a little bit. So we're seeing some nice moves there. And uh, we, we might actually be able to see a little bit of a trend line kind of forming and breaking on that uh, on that lower on that upper side. Uh, the lower side trend line seems to be holding in there very nicely, and uh, we've got some good movement to keep an eye on there. Okay, so here's our euro dollar. We had a pending order. You can see that uh, right here we had a pending order to get in uh, just above this area, and it came literally seven or eight pips short of it, and it's kind of coming back down. Not too worried about it. I think we're going to see a little bit of chopping, especially before the UK session starts. But here are a couple of things to look for in the US session side of things, or, or excuse me, uh, for the rest of the day going into the UK session. Um, if the euro dollar gets back above this 130, I think we might see a little short-term rally and be able to grab a couple of pips out of that. Uh, there, there, there could be 50 to 70 pips in a break of 130. So once again, that 130 mark is going to be very important. If the market gets above that, look for definitely a bit of a rally to happen. Now the market is almost the euro is almost 60 pips away from 130, so that could be a little bit of a of a jaunt getting it there. But that's the only place I would look to buy the euro. I'm not going to buy on any other little spikes or any other little small breakouts that we see. Only above 130 will I buy uh, anything on the euro. Uh, however, if we do see some breaks lower, uh, remember our pending order was up just in this kind of consolidation area here. We were looking for about 85, uh, and it hasn't quite uh, reached there. Like I said, it came just shy of that uh, by a couple of pips, and now it's just kind of consolidating back here again. If we can keep the pressure on the euro dollar, uh, we're going to see some nice little breaks probably of about this 129.35 area. And below 129.35, we should be able to at least get the euro into these lows here, which are going to be 20 to 25 pips and I think that's worth taking so 129.35 break we take the euro down and as we speak it's uh, it's already starting to do that so keeping our eye on that we're gonna see where that one goes um, pound dollar uh, we've got some interesting setups on the pound dollar here above 161 50 60 I think we have a chance at a shot at 16200 so keep an eye on that 150 or 161 50 60 area because uh, like I said we get a break of that and we should see a nice little rally otherwise we've got this little trend line we've seen the pound dollars kind of cruised back on up and now it's starting to break this little trend line and trying to head back down so what we're going to be looking for is a break below 161.20 uh, it's pretty easy to say here's the trend line break and here we go and this might start to give us enough of a run uh, and we're going to be giving up probably 10 pips to get 
hopefully a little more of a sure entry. Um, you can definitely try taking this trade right where it stands. It's already starting to move like crazy, but I still think that we're best below 161.20 uh, to take this pair back into some of these lows of potentially 160.80 uh, and beyond. So there could be a nice little 40 pip run below 161.20 into that 160.80. So we're going to keep an eye on that. So 161.50, 161.20, that's kind of the area we're going to be working with and looking to get a breakout of. Euro yen, we have some similar setups on the euro yen. Uh, this was from our notes last night, gave us a nice little break and it's back up and so on and so forth. Above about 103.40, I think uh, this is just a little short term resistance, but I think if we get above this, we might be able to get you know, 25 to, to 50 pips of movement above this 103.40. Uh, and by 25 to 50 pips, uh, what I'm really going to be kind of looking for is to trade it potentially as high as 10400. Could break that, could come just shy of that, but that's kind of the general area that I would be looking for if it gets above 10340, looking for that 10400 to happen. Otherwise, on this euro yen, uh, it's kind of coming down. We see this little short-term head and shoulders pattern. We see this on a lot of pairs actually right now, um, and it's just kind of breaking this right now. So the euro yen is is probably good to get into just at current market price uh, with stops, you know, just a little bit up here. We probably don't need to go a full 40 pips, but they need to be somewhere in that general area uh, above that little swing point. So watch the Asian session. The Asian session is probably going to give us a little bit of a pullback, uh, and we may even see a, a little thing like this happen where that trend line breaks and this runs back up into the 103 kind of 25 area somewhere in that general spot so uh, we're going to keep an eye on that we don't want to chase this euro yen down but i'd love to see it get up here just a little bit higher so that we could have stops nicely above this uh th th this little swing point right here and have entries somewhere around, like I said, 103.25 ish or so to sell. Uh, and then otherwise, uh, 103.40 breaks, and uh, that thing's probably going to be headed up for a little bit. Aussie dollar, this thing has been pretty darn fantastic the last little bit. The Aussie dollar has really given some nice pips. Uh, been a little timid the last 24 hours or so to get into this because it's run so far. But now, you know, at least on the smaller time frames, we've seen some retracement. And uh, we may be ready for this pair to continue right on back down again. So what I'm looking for is this right here is 10095. This is just shy of about 10100. Above 10100, I think we've got a nice little run of probably, again, 25 to 50 pips uh, above 10100. Otherwise, we're going to be looking for this little short-term guy right here which is 10050 uh, and uh, below this which it's already current, currently doing remember we have news coming out on this so that could be uh, a big big factor there but below this level at and below this level uh, I think we have a good chance to trade it into the lows here, which is, again, only about 25 to 30 pips, but it should be a nice little run. Uh, don't get too panicked about this. We're probably going to see a nice little bit of a pullback, but again, below this 10050, uh, I think, is going to be a nice area to continue taking the pair down and, and double bottom uh, somewhere around here at this 10020 area. Uh, so like I said, about a 30 pip run there. Uh, as we can see, gold has made some pretty intense breakouts. It's been testing for weeks this low and finally just plowed through it in a major way. Uh, so gold's made a big run down um, and is kind of just going sideways and, or excuse me, uh, consolidating just a little bit and uh, likely to continue on down through there. A uh, quick little look at some other pairs. We don't trade a ton, but uh, dollar cad's got a nice little trend line here. Not expecting that to break, but it's something to keep an eye on. And the Aussie yen looks very similar to the Aussie dollar in that it's been running down nicely it's dipped retraced up a little bit and this 80 is a very significant level this level has been in play for quite some time so I think if we get back below this level right here uh, you can see on the five minute chart there's a lot of consolidation right at 80 that's about 802 um, so we get a break of this 80 and I think we've got a nice little run into these lows as well which again 25 to 30 pips uh, below this level so watch Aussie dollar and Aussie yen for the same kind of breakout uh, euro dollar is already making a little bit of a push there um, keep an eye for that and then the pound dollar is coming up to that level as well so just be ready for that we have a lot of good levels a lot of good setups best of luck I'll see you in the chat and we'll update a couple of things from there